Hello everyone, this is Shade Sterility channel guys hi i hope everyone is doing well today or day or night wherever you're watching this um today i'm going to be doing a reading on miley cyrus and her now husband liam hemsworth um but first i want to pull on miley's personality and just see what is around her right now um i decided to do this as a whole video instead of just pulling on miley separately because i feel like it wouldn't make sense now especially since her and liam are together now um as like a married couple so that's why i'm gonna go ahead and include liam in this video because i am very curious about their relationship i've been for a while i've always been rooting for them and um i'm excited to do this reading um if i seem a little low energy it's just because i'm a little tired it's late right now when i'm recording this but hopefully I'm able to upload this video and you guys like it, okay? So, let's go on with Miley's reading. Um, okay, so Miley is a sun in Sagittarius. Her moon is in Scorpio. Her Mercury is in Scorpio. Who, girl. <laughs> Venus in Capricorn. Mars in Cancer. A lot of freaking water in her chart. That's interesting. Um, her rising is in Taurus. So... Miley is, before I even pull the cards, Miley is a very emotional person. She wears her emotions on her sleeve. She feels very deeply. She has a higher degree in her moon placement. Being a moon in Scorpio, she has 26 degrees in her Scorpio moon and she identifies more, I feel like, with being a Scorpio. So a lot of times she comes off very Scorpio-like. She has these like really piercing eyes where she, Miley can see things in people that I feel like she's freaked them out because she'll see it before they see it or she'll she just sees the truth behind people and she's always been like that since she was very young and Miley has always been someone that was ahead of her time with her emotion not only with her emotions but with what she would do with her music she's always been like in her mind she has always been ahead of her time but she couldn't do that unfortunately because she was under Disney Channel, but Miley hated, guys, Miley hated being in Disney Channel because she couldn't be who she wanted to be, and Miley is a very sexual person. She loves, sorry guys, I'm about to get a little x-rated here, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it classy still, um, but she is someone that in, she enjoys sex. She loves being very sexual. She loves it exuding, she exudes sex in a lot of ways and being a moon in Scorpio that just naturally comes for her and her Mercury being in Scorpio and she's also somebody that likes to talk a lot. She likes educating people. She likes talking about really dark stuff that people are so afraid to talk to talk about and that was her biggest problem with being under Disney Channel's thumb is she wanted to do darker things with her music but they were like no. We are not gonna we're not gonna do that so let's look into how she was with hannah montana and i have to go back there because it's a part of her it's a part of her journey so let's look into her being on disney channel how did miley feel about being on disney channel okay so what i'm feeling from the cards i pulled so far i need to pull one more card but what i'm feeling is it was a very good way of making money for her because I'm hearing that her family has a, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus does have, he was making good money from residuals of his music. He, he's always been very big in the country music world. So that wasn't a problem, but there were some, but there were some ways they were struggling financially in some areas they were struggling financially. Um, so when Miley and Billy got the position to be on Hannah Montana, it helped. It helped what they were waiting on. They because they needed more money for whatever reason. I guess what Billy Ray Cyrus wasn't making wasn't wasn't enough because you know he in the country music's eyes he's a legend and you know he wasn't the same when he got older. He just uh, fans weren't really responding to him the way that he would have liked. So when he ended up getting Hannah Montana with his daughter, it was like a breath of fresh air for them. It was a it was a fresh start. It was a new start. They had just moved from I believe she said she's from Nashville, right guys? Um Yeah, she's from Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, she's from Tennessee. So when she moved when they moved, it was really hard on them. It was it was because they weren't expecting California to be so expensive. 
and then when they moved and got the when Miley got the role as Hannah that opened up so many doors for Miley she was finally able and her dad and her mom and her sister her she has two sisters and her brother um and that really opened up so many doors for them financially especially they had been waiting for a breakthrough role for Miley for a while they were taking her to auditions um Billy and and I think Trish or Tish I can't think of the mom's name right now but it's something like that um Miley's mom was taking her to every audition Miley's dad spe specifically I'm hearing Billy he was really heavily supportive of Miley um her mom was supportive too, but there was some fear with her mom that she, of what she's seen in the media, because her mom is very observant. I don't know what her mom is, um, but if I figure it out, I'll put it down here along with Billy's zodiac sign. But there was something about the mom's energy I'm picking up on that she didn't want Miley to be an actress. Like she supports her. I'm not saying she doesn't support her, but she had her reservations, of course, being a mother. She was like, I don't want the music industry or the acting industry hurting you so yeah that was a big financial breakthrough for them and they were finally able to balance things in their life miley also is someone that always needed needs to be in control of everything she does and it makes sense because like i said she has her moon in scorpio and she's a sagittarius and she Sagittariuses like to have full control they don't like having people having authority over them they like to be their own bosses and I, that's what I love about them they like being their own bosses but especially with that Scorpio energy she she was like how much longer do I have to be on Disney Channel there were a lot of times where Miley hated going to work she hated it believe it or not and that's hard to believe because people I think some fans would be sad to hear that because you know they're thinking oh Miley loved being Hannah Montana yeah she she liked acting she didn't she it's nothing against her role as Hannah but she didn't like Disney Channel she she doesn't like she still doesn't but she doesn't want to work or do anything under Disney anymore they Disney even after she had left they kind of still tried to do things with her before all the scandals started to happen but they started to try to keep her under their thumb not only because she was still under their contract but i'm hearing when she broke away from the contract she was able to finally do what she wanted and she was so happy about that but disney channel was not supportive of her and they're not supportive in general and i don't think that's a shock if you looked into disney channel um and i don't want to bash them but I'm, I'm i'm pulling from miley's energy and i'm seeing that she i'm feeling what she's feeling and she didn't like it she hated it because there were they she didn't have a voice she didn't have a voice when she was there they wouldn't listen to a lot of um ideas that she had even in the show she was like hey like i think it'd be really cool if hannah went through this i think it would be really cool if um hannah said this or did this and they're like no we are not going to listen hear you out and she didn't understand because she's like but this is my character like i understand you guys are the boss i get it but which this is very sagittarius like they hate authoritative figure being under someone's authoritative figure for too long they'll do it for a minute just to make the money but eventually they get annoyed because they want to be so um in control of what they want to do um, especially if they're very passionate about it. And Miley was very passionate. She's very passionate still about that. So this was very hard for her because she didn't understand why people wouldn't listen to her. She's someone also, Miley is someone that likes to be listened to. She like she likes people to engage in conversations with her, um, with her Mercury and Scorpio. She likes people to understand what I, what she's saying. A lot of times, Miley will speak very clearly to people, very slow to people, so that, not saying she feels like they're stupid, but she wants to make sure that her point always gets across to people, and she doesn't like repeating herself too, she hates it, by the way. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing for her in Disney Channel. They weren't really supportive of her dream, and they made it very hard for her to leave Disney Channel, actually, because she was their they were making money off of her as you guys know if you followed her journey as hannah montana they were making bank off of her and they were she was their meal ticket miley's always been people's meal ticket unfortunately and with her family she's always been that meal ticket 
there was some really bad news Miley got. I don't so it's coming it's coming out. I don't know fully what it is. Yeah, I'm thinking they maybe this is um they wouldn't let her go. They wanted it was really okay, that's what I'm hearing then. It was really hard for her to get her get what she wanted out of this role. Like it was a great opportunity, but they wouldn't let her go do other things. She would get these opportunities and they didn't let her go do what she wanted to to do. They had a really strict thumb over her and she hated that. And she would complain a lot to her dad and he would say, I know, sweetie, but this is what we have to do right now, you know, and I'm not saying anything against her dad, but, you know, he felt like it was the right thing to do at that time. He kind of regrets it. Billy regrets letting Miley stay as long as she did because he saw how unhappy she was there. He saw it and he, f he feels he kind of carries that guilt to this day. He carries it just because he's seen he's seen how much it, it affected her so i don't normally get this for the high priestess but there was some type of woman around miley uh, in disney channel this could also i think this could also be her mother but i feel like more so this is some type of management around miley there was a woman that was very controlling over her um and i don't get this energy from her mom actually her mom doesn't come off as controlling to me but there was a woman manager that was around her that basically binded her voice like Ursula like binded her to her voice wouldn't let her speak about she had to always speak with the script and I believe there's a scroll in this woman's hand in this deck or is that a I can't see what that is I believe that's a scroll but there there was always um there was always they wouldn't let they didn't like Miley's mouth a lot of times is what I'm hearing they didn't like her mouth because she would just say things like just to upset people just to fuck with people she would just this is so her Sagittarius coming out she would just say things and her Scorpio she would just say things just to fuck with people because she could you know and they were like Miley like you can't say that and she's like why not you know like it's funny <laughs> and they're, they had to reel her in a lot they had to reel her in a lot she hated this guys I am feeling this from her she hated being in Disney Channel because they wouldn't let her do what she wanted she hated that she hated that so let's see about um her castmates who she was her her relationship with Emily Osment yeah, this was a this this was a meal ticket for her. Yeah, she kept get she got the two of pentacles again. She was making bank, guys. She was basically Hannah Montana set her up for life because she's very smart about her money too. She's very because of how she grew up, she's very smart about her money and she invests her money into things that will help her in the long run. I'm hearing that she's pretty much set up for life like she could have kids, as many kids as she wants, and they would be set up. She's very, she planned it that way. She was very smart about it. But she hated Disney Channel. She hated working under the, the machine, the oiled machine of Disney Channel. She didn't like it, but she's very appreciative for the opportunities, though, that it gave her and the money that it granted her because her family was financially struggling. Same cards are coming out for her. Yeah. There was some type of management around her that was not supportive. This could be more than one person, but I'm hearing more so it was a woman. Some type of management that this, the show that ran, uh, the person that ran Hannah Montana or helped a lot with Hannah Montana was a woman. And she was just, she would not hear Miley out on a lot of what she wanted to do. But Miley could not wait to leave, but her dad kept her in as long as he did because you know, he, he one didn't want her to burn bridges. He was like, we cannot burn bridges with them. They will blacklist us, you know? And this show, the show actually caused her a lot of anxiety. Miley already suffers from, I don't know, she, I'm hearing this, but allegedly she suffers from depression. She suffers from anxiety. She suffers from insomnia too, maybe even sleep paralysis. She's very intuitive, very intuitive. Yeah, I can't stress this enough, guys. She didn't get what she wanted out of Disney Channel other than opportunities and the money that it supplied her. So that's what's coming out for her. Um, 
Let's see about her co-stars, Emily and um, that one. What's that guy's name that she worked with? I can't remember it right now. Oh my god, I hate when that happens. <laughs> I can't remember the guy's name. Oliver. He played Oliver. I cannot think of his name right now. What did she think of her co-stars, Oliver? The guy that played Oliver and um, Emily Osment. So I just heard that she loves her co-workers, but she wasn't always like that, which I kind of read about this too. But at first she didn't get along with Emily. She did not get along with her. But with the with the guy that played um the guy that played Oliver, she loved him from the job. They got a, they actually hit it off right away. She also thought he was cute when she first saw him. I don't think it I don't think it went anywhere though. I don't feel like it did. How does she feel about her coworkers? How does she feel about her coworkers? Okay, what else comes out? How does she feel about her coworkers? Okay, yeah, there was one of them. Like I said, I think this is Emily. She didn't really like Emily when she first met her she didn't like her she kept to herself a lot when she first started working on the show she would just stay by her dad um because she didn't know she can trust these two co co-stars but I don't know if she's still in touch with them but I'm not seeing that she is so I'm feeling like something very petty very small happened or they just grew apart because i am seeing someone wants to reach out some some someone i don't know if it's miley the guy that played oliver or if it's emily but she i'm hearing that she fell out with one of them but she still talks to the other one so i'm thinking now it's emily i don't i, I feel like she fell out with a guy She still loves him though, she still cares about him, but something happened with that. So I don't know if he wanted to date her or something. I don't want to put it to that, but... Yeah, but Miley's just, she really keeps to herself, but I think also she feels like they helped with her financial growth. They helped, a lot of times they were there for her. And they stabilized her because she didn't really have any friends when she moved out here. She didn't have, they didn't know a lot of people here. And, um, but she's very happy with one of them. I don't know if she still keeps in contact with Emily or she's still, I don't think the guy anymore. I don't think they talk. Hmm. I was feeling this. I, I wonder if something happened with her and the guy. Because the Ace of Wands came out, and that usually means sexual. So I don't, I don't know if something happened with them. I know she liked him when they first started talking. I don't know, but something happened with that, with her and the guy. So I don't know if they were intimate at all. But yeah, but she's very appreciative for her co-stars though, because you know this uh, this this opened a lot of doors for her. Yeah, I feel like it's the guy. I don't know what his sign is. But but he expressed his emotions to her. Or his... How much he likes her. He expressed it to her. I think he always liked her. Yeah, she's not okay with one of them. She's not okay with one of them. That's so weird. I think it's... um I think it's the guy. I'm feeling more so the guy. Okay, so let's look into her and let's look into her and Liam. So they are very giving to each other. Um, 
Miley wants to, oh, this is so cute. Miley wants to give Liam the world. She, like, loves him so much. There's something about Liam's energy that really, um, um, spiritually it balances her. Um, Liam is so in tune spiritually that it helps her, um, balance her energy. Because Miley can be all over the place. <laughs> but he, there's something about Liam that reels her in. I'm hearing she's not very like expressively emotional with him a lot of times she likes to be like a Sagittarius and be all hard and like oh I'm one of the guys like she doesn't she doesn't like um always being mushy gushy with him and he actually doesn't care I think I think Liam's moon is in Leo but he doesn't really mind it he's like whatever like I I'm getting this sense that they're like their relationship is very like I don't want to say bro like oh you're my bro but they but they kind of do I kind of mean that though they do have that relationship where it's like they punch each other I feel like I don't want to say my Liam punches her but Miley I don't know I just heard this that's so weird um Miley does this thing where she like likes to one she wrestles she likes to wrestle with him um she likes to like be like a guy with him she likes to be one of his guy friends um, she, they have a really healthy relationship in that way where, because they, they were friends before they got together and that's how they met in a way. That's how they, well, they met on set of the last song, but that's how it's always been with them. They've just been very like, oh, you, like best friends. Like you're my best friend. You're my buddy. And that was something they never wanted to lose in their relationship and they made it very clear to each other that they don't want to lose that type of camaraderie in their relationship and they feel like once that is gone, then there is, you can't come back from that. They, that's, they, they are so protective of that about each other because not a lot of couples, they see it, not a lot of couples are like this, uh, like that, the way they are with each other. Um, but I'm hearing that Miley likes to punch him. She likes to sock him in his, like, shoulder. Just boom, like that, and then she'll, like, walk away. And he's like, the hell? But that's the type of relationship they have. He, like, loves it. <laughs> and I know my, um, not Miley. I know Liam, like, scaring her. He loves scaring her. And she punches him. She socks him when he does that. Like, you don't, I don't think he posts a lot of those, those videos, but he, he, every time he scares her, she'll, like, run after him and then she'll sock him <laughs> the empress in the reverse miley's unsure right now if she wants to have kids i don't feel like she had this she could have had a miscarriage i don't want to say that but i am hearing that too i'm hearing that miley had a she may have had a miscarriage so my prayers go out to her um she was she was pregnant but something happened with that and also I'm also hearing she wasn't even sure if she wanted to have kids at this very moment Miley as well is not sure if she wants to have kids she's not sure she goes back and forth with it ace of pentacles in the reverse um Miley loves being in a relationship, but there's something about it where she hates being committed for too long. She doesn't like the restraints that a relationship puts on and the pressure on, on each other and, it, and, and the pressure that a relationship puts on the couple. So I'm not saying that she's not committed to him, but I'm wondering if they have like, I keep hearing this and I heard it before I even started this video, like I'm wondering if they have an open relationship even though they're married now but or if it started out like that and then they're they eventually like moved into something more committed but even though they're um i'm hearing even though they're married they are still open to um welcoming other people in the bedroom because liam knows that miley is sexually liberated he knows that she likes doing what is her venus in? i mean her mars is in cancer interesting um but she has to give the okay, I feel, though. But, and it has to be, I think, a girl. Um, but he's he's okay with um, having an open type of marriage because he as well agrees with her. But he's a little bit more traditional than Miley. Um, 
Liam isn't as for it as Miley is, but he does it because it makes her happy. That's what I'll say. As well, even though she is in a relationship with Liam, I mean, sorry, they're married, um, she still acts single. <laughs> she still acts single. But he doesn't mind it. He's like, okay, that's fine. He had to learn to be this way, though. He had to learn to be this way. And Miley had to learn to be this way, too. But they're very attached to each other. They're, it's a weird dynamic, in a way, with them. They're attached to each other, but at the same time, they understand that they don't own each other. If that makes any sense, guys. But they have so m I'm pulling good energy for them. They have so much love around um, each other. Miley, but because because they have this i was gonna say as well because they have this understanding with each other it makes their relationship a lot easier because and they also see how others are in relationships and they're like sitting back kind of like oh my god i'm so glad we're not we're not like that but they had to get there there was a long journey of them getting there there was a long journey of them getting there and they still are always they're always learning from each other and miley loves that she always is learning from liam She's always listening to him. She really values his opinion. She values how he sees her. And for a minute, when he didn't see her in the best light after they, before, last time when they broke up, when she was going crazy and she was, during her whole bangers phase, Liam was just like, what the hell is going on with you? And she was like, I'm fucking liberated. That's what's going on with me. And Liam had to learn though. Liam had to learn to accept this side of her. Cause I keep hearing that Miley is really open like she will have threesomes like she does not mind even though she has scorpio in her chart which i'm like oh that's interesting and her mars is in cancer but um she will she does not and venus and capricorn she does not mind having threesomes she does not mind being open she actually would prefer it but she actually has had to lock herself down a lot because liam is like okay i will they had to agree on this. They actually had a conversation about this before they got married. And she was like, is this something you can handle? Because I like to, yes, I'm still committed to you. I'm still yours in a sense, but we're not each other's. We're not, you're not mine. I'm not yours in a sense, but you, but we are. I don't know if that is, is making any type of sense, guys. And I'm sorry, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, I'm a little lost myself because I'm not like that but she Miley needs her freedom she needs to feel independent and especially like sexually too she doesn't mind not always doing it but there are times where she's she wants to get out there and do her own thing and feel single she likes to feel single and she doesn't like people tying her down or holding her down but also Liam is um there is a part of Miley that is like possessive over him, but it's not as much as he is over her. If that, if I'm making any sense there too. <laughs> um, anyway, but there, there was a part of Liam that had to overcome this because this was a big issue in their relationship. Like Miley would act so single and he's like, like what? And that's why they didn't work out a lot of times. They kept going back and forth and it took liam a long time to like lock her down because she was just like oh i'm off doing my thing you know miley is so independent she's always been like that she's always been very independent this is the sag and capricorn and scorpio i feel like too um in her chart but yeah and another thing i'm hearing too is liam wants kids he wants kids and miley was like she was always like i don't know if i want kids i don't know and he's like well why don't you know shouldn't you want kids she's like why why do i as a woman have to want kids and liam was like isn't that the natural thing to do as a woman you guys all want kids right and she's like no like i'm not saying liam is ignorant but he kind of grew up in a family where his mom taught him you get married you have kids he's very traditional so he didn't understand why miley was so sexually liberated why she was like you know the bangers thing going on that was a big thing for him especially because he saw her so um young and naive in a sense when they were in the last song together he saw her as very innocent so when she started coming out and dating 
all different types of people like we saw her do that was a that was a shock for him he didn't know how to handle that it was scary for him he was like i don't even know who you are and she's like I've always been this type of person. I just w I was just being held back and I couldn't be this person. But as soon as Miley broke ties with Disney Channel, she, as we saw, she was just living her fucking life. She was getting her life. <laughs> and that, that really messed with Liam. He didn't like that. And that's one of the reasons they didn't see eye to eye for a while. They didn't talk for a while because he couldn't handle that side of her. Plus Liam, I also read an article, a little article on this, but I don't know a lot, a lot about this, but Liam had his brother in his ear and I don't know if Liam has another brother, but in his mom and his family, his family was in his ear. They like Miley, but they were in his ear a lot about her. They're like, she's not the same person. And he's like, she is, but she isn't. Cause he kind of always saw that about her, but it still shocked him. But like I was saying, Miley has so much love for him. But also, Liam was... I'm not saying that Liam is controlling at all. I'm not saying that. Um, but there's a part of Liam that didn't understand why she couldn't be traditional. That bothered him a lot. But now he's learning to embrace it about her. He's learning to accept it about her. And he doesn't try to hold her back or be something she's not and actually when Liam because Liam was the one that wanted to get back with Miley Miley always was kind of there and trying to pursue him again and trying to make it work with him again but she had had enough she had cut it off and she was like I'm done like no like and she went off and did her own thing she lived her life and then Liam came back around and she was like the the main thing that I'm hearing intuitively is Miley said to him I am, this is who I am. I'm a free spirited person. I am this way. I am that way. And if you cannot accept that, we cannot be together. And, and she, I hear, I hear her saying, can you handle that? And she just looked at him like this. And he was, and he, he didn't know how to take that. He was like, whoa, okay. Then yeah, I, I can. And she's like, we'll see. And she's put him through tests, guys. She's put him through tests. Because the one thing she cannot stand is people telling her what to do i say this a lot with sagittarius is but miley does not like that and she doesn't like people holding her back creative uh, in a creative sense because she had so much of that when she was younger so it it traumatized her and spilled over into her life in other ways where it really fucked with her and now she doesn't i admire her for it but now she really does not let people take that her identity from her and that's why she did go so like buck wild <laughs> yeah and as i'm saying all this they had a hard time i'm pulling more so in their past too they had a hard time coming to terms with things they still have problems with that just because miley likes to act single and liam doesn't like that there's a part of him that doesn't like that but he's learning to accept it about her it's hard for him because he's so traditional and he's so like about her and he's so about his relationship but Miley is just like yes I love you and I'm here and I'm gonna be there for you I'm gonna support you I'm ready to die for you but also I don't want to lose who I am because at a young age I lost who I who I was and and in the media and in the in social media and growing up in Hollywood I I lost myself for a minute and I don't want to do that again I don't want to do that again Yes, but Miley is so in love with him. It's so cute. She's always been in love with him. Miley knew as well. She knew they were going to get married. She always knew that he, even when they broke up, I'm hearing she knew that they were going to be together regardless. They were going to get together. They were going to be a couple. And other people would say, just give it up, leave it alone, blah, blah, blah. She's like, no, we're going to be together. That's very Scorpio moon. We're going to be together. I know we're going to be together. She also manifested a lot of their relationship she manifested it she just always knew but i'm hearing too that she really supports him with the three of pentacles she really supports him she has his back 100 percent, and he he loves that about her too and there's a lot of things that as well miley has to had to overcome and un, uh, unbind them unbind herself to i don't know if they're going to 
a marriage counselor or if there's someone around them that that's their advisor in a certain type of way but I heard that um or if they had to go or they went to some type of like can we handle marriage type of boot camp or something like that but they made sure to do the necessary steps to get married because they did have such a rocky relationship they wanted to make sure okay if we're gonna get married this is what we need to do this is how we're gonna make it work and also Miley had a lot of help from her father because she has a great relationship with her dad and her mom and and they both come from um a family background where they had a really good upbringing which is nice it made it easier but what I'm hearing the biggest problem for Liam and Miley was um oh I thought my video froze um what I'm hearing the biggest problem for Miley and Liam was the fact that Miley just wanted she wanted to keep her indiv individuality which is nothing wrong with that um and she wanted to not be she wanted to be free she was she didn't want to be held down Yeah, let's see real quick how Liam feels about Miley. But she supports him 100%. She supports him 100%. I also just saw the Empress. Um, Liam wants to get Miley pregnant. He wants to have a kid with her. They keep getting the Six of Pentacles. They are so giving with each other. They are so giving with each other. Um, especially even though they, they tend to try not to be too emotional with each other. But even emotionally. And... Um, also, I'm hearing um, Liam is so loyal to her. So Capricorn. He's so loyal to her. He's so like, I will keep your secrets. I, your secrets are safe with me. Your Because there's a lot of things that Miley tells Liam. And that shit for him goes to the grave. He doesn't tell anybody about the things that she tells him. Because she tells him some pretty dark stuff. She, that went on with her in the media and in her personal life. Yeah, there were some things that, um, there were some things that Miley expressed to Liam, and he understands that it is so hard for Miley to open up, even though she, we see her being very open with us, but that's just a persona, guys, like, she, there's a lot of things that Miley holds in and feels, but she only tells him, because she trusts him so much, and vice versa, he trusts her. But Miley, um, not Miley, I'm sorry, Liam is so emotionally giving to her. But the way he does it, he does it very much in a fun way because he likes to, he he knows and understands he has to keep things light with her. He has to keep things really light with her. As, and this is why um, it caused them to take a break a couple of times. But he feels like the break was needed because um, he feels like the break was needed because it helped them both emotionally mature also he gives her space he gives miley a lot of space like even though they live together they have separate rooms sometimes that they go into whether it's like a den or if he has his own space he he can liam being a capricorn he does need to have time time of isolation and liam uh not liam um miley being a sagittarius scorpio moon she needs to go and do her thing and be separate because they can over they can get on each other's nerves very fast because they are so comfortable with each other that they can rub each other the wrong way pretty fast but they come right back into each other and they become very giving Liam sometimes feels guilty he feels guilty he feels like he made Miley a emotionally unstable sometimes he feels he still carries that with him because the eight of swords did come out he still carries that with him guys and six of cups in the reverse there was a lot though that he, there's a lot that he knows i'm hearing more so with her childhood she had a good childhood but for the most part her growing up in the social social circles that she grew up in social media social interactions with people haven't been the best and it affects her till this day. It affects her. She a lot of she's been burned a lot, and um, he's very protective over her emotions and her job. I, I the Empress is coming out again, guys. Liam wants to get Miley pregnant. He wants her to have his his child. 
And I feel like that will happen. I feel like uh, Miley Cyrus will get pregnant. I do feel like that. But he is, there's a part of, he, he knows it's not the right time because also he, Miley, Miley always tells him, I don't feel ready to have a kid right now. And he's kind of gotten through to her a bit because there were times where Miley was dead set on not having kids. She never really saw herself being a mother. But with Liam, she does see it. She struggles with this though a lot. She struggles with wanting kids and then not wanting kids. Wanting kids and not wanting kids. And this also would get, they would, they would argue about this too. They would argue about it. There's a lot of fear and anxiety around it though. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. There's a lot of fear and anxiety around it. Even though Liam wants it, Miley just kind of like pushes back on it a bit. She's just like, okay, well, yeah. Four of Pentacles in the upright. There's some type of attachment that he has to her having kids and she doesn't want it. And this has kind of been const a constant battle with them. And why they would argue and get defensive. They had to work on their, Liam had to work on his communication with her as well. Their emotional communication is really good now though. It's very good. Also, um, Liam can see the best in people. He's a very giving and like Miley is, he's a very giving person. He's a very warm hearted person. And Miley sees how this can take, he can get, a t get taken advantage of and she tries to, you know, pull him in, reel him in. And he gets defensive about it sometimes. He's like, why? Like, why are you always looking at the negative? And she's like, I'm not looking at the negative. I see this person is doing this, doing that. Like, they don't have your best interest, Liam. Like, you need to trust me on this, you know? And then, sure enough, her being... Because she sees it, Moon and Scorpio. She sees it. Mars and Cancer. She sees it. So, when this happens, she... She just waits. She just waits for him to be like, you're right. And she's like... That happens a lot with them. That happens a lot with them. So the King of Swords just came out before this reading. Miley, I mean not Miley, I keep doing that. Liam, Liam is also in his head a lot. There's a, he's in his head a lot, that's what I feel like. Uh, Miley does like to take control of the relationship a lot. She does and he lets her for the most part But there are some times where he wants to feel like a man and he's like, can I can I take control of this in some ways? So I'm seeing that they kind of have to work on that. They have to work on that But yeah, I'm I'm predicting that Miley will I think she's gonna be pregnant guys I think her and Liam um, She's gonna have a kid with him um, so I hope you enjoyed this reading. I do see them last. Oh, I should say this too I do see them lasting for a while. I do I do see them lasting for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reading. This has been Shade's Tarot Tea. Um, I, like I said, I love their relationship. Um, I think it's beautiful and I enjoyed reading on them. So again, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. This has been Shade's Tarot Tea. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you want to add anything, please keep it nice, sweet. And um, also if you want to the point. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys are having a good evening or having a good morning wherever you are and uh i'll see i'll see you later bye guys